Hello. Okay, so <laughs> we have decided that we're gonna do Rip It or Ship It. Okay, so I'm at Audrey's and I'm editing right now, and I just realized <laughs> that we didn't really do an intro on this video because we just came out of the book haul video and it kind of just slipped my mind. So while we're here, hi, I'm nerdy, I'm Nat, I'm notably nerdy Nat, and this is my best friend Audrey. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. We made a video like a year ago, but it was us just goofing around, never thinking we were actually going to have a channel. Yeah. She still doesn't have a channel, but yeah. I do. Here we are on it. You're watching it now. So we just put all the names in and we're going to, we put them in this order on my phone. Yeah, it's on her phone. And we're going to pair two characters together and decide whether or not we ship them or, or we don't. just like, no. Like, absolutely. There are some villains in here. here. And it's going to be really interesting. We didn't put a lot in because we just really like our heroes. Which is probably yeah. a bad idea, but you know, it's fine. Some of these are going to be really cute. One of a canon couple is a <gasps> that was, That's so much fun when the canon couple happens. I forgot somebody important. Who? Did you, who? Oh, yeah, she forgot her um, husband number two, which in uh, my last video, we just mentioned her husband number one um, in book haul video, uh, Kale Westfall, that's her husband number one. Mm -hmm. Husband number two is Rowan Whitethorn. No, he's not. I have other husbands that are higher than Rowan. I'm I ship surprised. him too hard with somebody else. Oh my god, I forgot somebody else in Orchard. Oh my god, she keeps forgetting people. Who do you keep forgetting? Did you forget oh, Aelin? <sighs> anyway. <laughs> That was very important. She forgot Rhysand! <laughs> anyway. Oh my god! Okay, How so... You, okay, we the way this is gonna work is we're gonna pick one person, and she's gonna be, like, the protagonist. And no matter how much we hate them, we have to decide if the other person is good for them or not. This is gonna be a struggle. Oh boy. Okay. First person. Let's go. Is it starting? Hello? Tamlin! <laughs> Tamlin okay, to the okay, Court of Thorns okay. and Roses. If you don't know, Tamlin is Farrah's original love interest. Yeah, he's Farrah's original love and interest. And that didn't work. In A Court of Thorns oh. and Roses by Sarah Damas. We got her she right, right up here. Um, so, he turns into a total overprotective asshole after the events of the first book. Okay. <laughs> and he basically keeps her on house arrest. Yes. So, she runs away and um, finds her mate, which is great. So, yeah. Tamlin is our number one. Okay, who's number two? I it's swear to Feyre. God, if it's Feyre. If, I would laugh. What if it's Resand? <laughs> <laughs> I would laugh. Kieran Kingston. Interesting. So Kieran Kingston or Kieran Hunter is one of the main characters, yeah. He's like well, he's like a side character in the first two books and he becomes a main character. Yeah, he's book. from the um Dark Art Dark Art Spaces trilogy by Cassandra Clare. Uh he is he's fairy. awesome. He's fairy. fairy boy. And he he's, I can't say that without the spoiler. He's anyway. the son of the Unseelie King. King. And the rest of that is that makes him him is a spoiler. spoiler. No spoilers in this house. Except even for, though in like my first two videos, I, they were full of spoilers. And sorry, she didn't guys. even put any spoiler cards. I'm she wasn't sorry, like, they were my first two videos. Like, give, give me a break, sis. Facts. Well, I'm, I'm getting better. I'm just gonna say, Tamlin would get incredibly fed up with Kieran, and that would not work. I feel, Kier like, it's kind of funny because they're both fairies. Right, that's, but, like, Tamlin is so, like, uptight, and, like, he's so, like, proper. He's, and he's also, like, the like, straightest straight to ever straight. Yeah, he's so... And meanwhile, Kieran. Kieran mm -hmm. is this... Mm -hmm. Not Kieran, straight. Kieran's, <laughs> Kieran is... Well, he's not gay. He's, he's, he's bi. He's bi. He's very bi. He's very... He's a raging well, bisexual. He, he is he's a, a freewheeling free bisexual, as Magnus Bane calls himself. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, Kieran is technically something else, but that is also a spoiler. So, if if you know what I'm talking about, like that... <laughs> anyway. That other sexuality that I'm talking about, you if you know, you know. It's not really a sexuality, it's just a... Kind of? It, I mean, it's, it's a, kind of like a romantic a, alignment. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Know. The next protagonist. Oh my god, who is it? She's a villain. 
Oh, frig. Oh, the villain, no! It's the villain of the Heroes of Olympus series. Oh, no. Mama Gia. Mm-hmm. Okay, I honestly thought I that it was her. you were going to say Dolores Umbridge, and I was like, about to lose my shit. I got scared, because I thought it was going to be Amarantha. Like, I had it in my head, and I was like... Oh. I hate Amarantha. Did you put Amarantha in? Oh, no! The second person is Julian Blackford! So we're going to... Sh- Rip that, we're gonna rip that so hard because Julian we don't check that. is my baby boy. Let oh. me just tell you, I love Julian Blackthorn to death. We didn't introduce Gaia, Gaia, however Gia. you pronounce her name. Um, Gia. she is the main antagonist of the Heroes of Olympus series. Right, right, she is Garden. basically Mother Earth. She's literal Satan. She though. is literal Mother Earth, but she's Satan. And Julian Blackthorn is baby the, boy. Um, one of the two protag- main protagonists. Of the Dark Artifices trilogy by Cassandra Clare. I'm just gonna tell you now, there's a lot of Cassandra Clare and Sarah J. Mass characters. We in love here. them. We we love them so hard. We do. Okay. Okay. I'm there's, just waiting for a really interesting one. There is an Amazon ad that just keeps coming up on this webpage. Amarantha. Jesus. You you jinx us. I jinx us. She jinx us. So Amarantha is the main antagonist in the first book of the Akatar trilogy. But here's the thing, it's, like, foreshadowing to, like, the actual main antagonist. Mm-hmm. Because, because she works for him. The funny thing about the first book of Akatar is I it, ship it. Wait, I ship it. I'm it's sorry. crazy, is that, um, it doesn't have, like, any of the main plot. It just, like, sets up, like, the characters for what happens in the next two books. Yeah. It's set, it's really all about setting up the world and it's giving these characters- Akatar, like, the first book, the it's, trauma. Literal, it's, it's literally just world building. Hmm. There's romance in it, which, like, honestly, but it's like, good. It also gives the characters the trauma that they need in order to be able to, like, actually go on the journey they need to- Yeah. You know what I mean. So, oh, the second person. We will ship you then. It's Who? also a villain. Who? Fool Jace. Yes! I ship it! <laughs> I ship it. That Fool Jace is from um the Dark Artifices. He's inter- he's in He's from the Alternate Universe. Yes, he's introduced in Queen of Air and Darkness. And I hate him. And he is most likely going to be the main villain of the, the Wicked Wicked Powers. Powers. And I want to kill him. Um so yeah, of course I ship them. Assholes deserve assholes. Anyway, I, I'm nodding my head so fast, I can hear my earrings jingling. Katniss Everdeen. Oh, that's really interesting. And Laura Jean. Okay. That is an interesting one. So Katniss Everdeen, for you ignorant shits who don't know, I'm sorry that was mean, but yeah, basically if you don't know who Katniss is, you live under a rock. Um, she is the protagonist of the Hunger Games trilogy. You also by live Suzanne Collins. It's been a while yes. since I read it. And you also live under a rock if you don't know who Lara Jean is. Actually, I don't know because that's kind of that's it's, a little it's, bit obscure. No, it, it no, it's not. It was a huge thing last year. Oh, you're right with the, the movie, movie on now. Netflix. To all the boys I loved before by, by Jenny, Jenny Han. Han. She started reading that series and then she got me into it and I fell in love with the series. It's sweet. It's like it's it's a little romance trilogy, but I wouldn't ship that. Yeah, I don't ship it because like they're polar opposites and yeah. they hate each and other. And like, yeah, it just doesn't We're work. Because are you okay? I was getting. I, I feel like focused. so shadowy. Like the lighting is so bad in my room right now because I don't have my like own lighting system. And we too broke for that. We yeah. high school students. I and my like one of my lights doesn't work. So. Yeah. Where it's and it's cloudy outside, and I use natural light, and I want to film in front of my bookshelf. So it's just it's a lot. It's a lot yeah. of bad stuff. So I'm okay. sorry. That's the next one. Fred Weasley. Oh <gasps> well, if you don't know who that is, he's from Harry Potter, and R. you R. should know who he is because because he's amazing. Yeah. And Mayor I don't know. Okay, okay. So, Mayor Barrow, as if you've been following my channel, you know, uh, she is the protagonist of the Red Queen series. Um, I don't ship that because Mayor takes everything way too seriously, and, well, she does, she does. Got him. Um, she just, um, 
no it just it would not work at all because fred is a jokester and mayor is oh my god that would stressed. suck for him that would suck for him i would love to date fred weasley fred she weasley would. hit me up see it's really great because she loves fred and i love george so it works out <laughs> We always end up with that. We never fight over, like, actually. Except for Jem. Except for Jem Carstairs. That's literally what I was thinking we about. We fight over Jem Carstairs, but we've decided that we will timeshare Jem and Will. Yes. That's what we've decided. Yeah. But otherwise, it's Fred and George, Kale and Dorian, uh, Cassie and Asriel. It's fine. We work we out. We just have, it's because we have opposite tastes in men. Thank God. Because that because was the Now we never fight over boys. It's never gonna be a problem with us. Yeah. Unless we meet, like, a real-life gem, then it's gonna be an all-out brawl. <laughs> I'll probably give him to you. Oh. Because I have my eyes set on someone else. And ha! Like... <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. I, I it really do. Fun. Okay. Malcolm Fade. <laughs> Malcolm Fade is the prota pro protagonist! <laughs> Ew, and he's an antagonist, antagonist of the first, first it's, it's, book. It's of Lady, Lady Midnight. Yeah, the first book and of the Dark Artifices series. I hate him with every fiber of my being. He, he is literally the entire reason that the other two books happened. Happen. Because he's an idiot. So, we do not stand. I hope it's Ianth. Same. They deserve each other. Julian Black! Okay, I'm rolling again because they already got him. Okay, they're from the same series. I know. Alec Lightwood. Bruh, why does this keep happening? Okay, funny story. Actually, Magnus Bane is Alec Lightwood's actual boyfriend. Actually, they're married now. So, husband. And Love. Magnus and Mag Malcolm were buds. Once upon, Once upon time. a time. So that's awkward. I do not ship that because... Because Malcolm is a villain and Alec is a... They're from the not. same universe. We didn't mention yeah, that. They're, they're, they're from the same universe. Um, the Mortal Instruments. The Shadowhunters. Alec Chronicles. is just kind of like Chronicles. Chronicles. all through it. So he's just from the universe. He's not from... He's really from the original uh, six book series. Yeah. But he's, from the Mortal he's just like... He's... I Alec. He's, Alec goes through it. Yeah. He's in every um series except uh the Infernal Devices, because that's, that's before, before his time. the Mortal Instruments. But it has happen. his ancestors in it, so that's cool. Gideon and Gabriel. And Cecily. Oh, and Cecily, you're right. Oh, Cecily! Sorry, anyway. I love her. <laughs> She's a queen. Ceci. Is it my husband? Weird. Rowan Whitethorn. Rowan Whitethorn from Throne of Glass. <laughs> he is. I think Selena would agree. Well, Aelin. I don't know. She's Aelin when she's with Rowan. You know? <laughs> Jace Herondale. What? Interesting! Absolutely not. Rowan is too straight to function. And Jace, Jace is, is also too straight to function. No, he's just scared of being gay. You know, he is definitely low key bisexual because if you have if you seen you, his relationship with Simon Lewis, literally, if you analyze the interactions between Jace and Simon, you're like, they're my bro TP. I'll be honest. Like, you're like, hmm, shouldn't Clary be with Isabel and Simon? <laughs> With Jace. Oh, okay. But like literally I live for Simon and Jace's relationship. It's, it's so, so cute. cute and precious. Especially like when you like think about like where they came from. They oh hated god, they each other at first. Interesting. That was awful. Oh my god, they hated each other and now they're like the best of friends. And obviously like something would go wrong and Jace they're would be amazing. Like, it's the mundane's fault. And Simon's like, I don't like that word. <laughs> mundane. I love Simon. <laughs> you don't like that word. What word? Fault? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Interesting. Okay, what do we got? Oh. You just said no. Resand. Resand Big is boy! one of the protagonists from the Akatar series up here. Yes. Wow, this lighting is literally so bad. It is. But R.I.P. I look so pale. I'm not this pale in person. I mean, you're pretty pale. She's I'm, pretty pale. I'm Tanner. I'm pretty tan compared to what I usually am. Wait, should I like get a lamp? 
I wonder if I could, like, get a lamp. It, we're fine. I mean, you're kind of blending in with the darkness. <sighs> this is my home. Because <laughs> I'm closer to the lamp than you are. Shouldn't we switch places because you're darker than I am? I like in my little corner. <laughs> I swear, that's my leg. <laughs> that is my leg. Speaking of legs <sighs> she destroyed my leg leg i she did destroyed my leg so yesterday. we were just slapping each other on the band bus on the way back from the um uh football, football game concert. that's not good and she, <laughs> she, okay so i thought i was slapping her pretty hard and she couldn't feel it I so i just kept it. slapping her harder and then we wake up this color guard makes you absolutely inept to pain like you just don't feel crap anymore like you get hit with a flag enough yeah. times and you're just done you know see she do she doesn't um she has bruises all up her thigh now and that's my <laughs> fault oopsie in in any other situation that would sound really different but like mm -mm. oopsie easy. okay who do we got it's reaching in and about the chase i don't know how i feel about that okay so they're both very i feel like anna about the strategical i feel like but but she's too much for him i don't know i feel like, I feel like our too... i feel like our perspective is but, warped because we haven't read the books in a long also time. but reese also likes to have fun and annabeth she likes to have a plan and he likes to go with the flow i don't know reese kind of does kind of remind me of percy But, like, Feyre is nothing like Annabeth. Feyre is nothing like Annabeth. I feel like Rhysand would be Annabeth's I mean, I feel like they could have a good relationship for two years, but I don't see them being endgame. Yeah. No. Rhysand would be Annabeth's type, but Annabeth would not be Rhysand's type. Yeah. They could. They would date. I feel like they'd date. They'd date, but it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. Okay. This. Ugh! Ever been held now from the Throne of Glass series? He is not like a main antagonist, but he's he is the main annoying, antagonist. He's the gross. main antagonist of um, the Assassin's Blade, which is the prequel. He's awful, and um, he deserved everything he got. That's all I'm saying. It's not really a spoiler. It's just me forcing an opinion. Hmm. But um, I hope he gets Dolores Umbridge. Tessa Gray. Oh, oh. <laughs> poor Tessa. No, absolutely <laughs> Tessa. not. Oh my, god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He is a uh, slave version of the Magister, yeah. That's what I just I went. That it, is crazy. It ooh, ooh, ooh. That's nasty. Tessa literally. Oh my Tessa god, wait. It. Look, cause the Magister is the one who made Tessa who she is, and Arabin's the one who made Selena who she is. Exactly. Disgusting. Disgusting. This is why we don't stand those characters. You we know, don't. We, we hate them. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if there are people out there who like Arabin, but if they do, they're whack. Uh, why would you like Arabin? Why would you like the Magister? Anyway. Hmm. No. All right, we should do like two more. Yeah. Jason Grace from the 2011. Okay. And Magnus Bane. Jason is too. I ship it. Magnus. I ship it. I do not ship it at all. I if if Jason were to have a gay relationship, no wait, Jason Jason would have a relationship with Leo. Leo. I Jason feel like would he'd have a relationship with Leo if he. Was I gay. feel like Jason is low key bisexual. He has glass. He well, he was bisexual. Shut up! <laughs> I haven't read it yet, so it still is. Yeah. Anyway, still is. Anyway, we're being very vague about what we're talking about because we don't want to spoil anything. But we spoiled ourselves. Actually, I spoiled. I spoiled myself, and then I told her. I, I no, I accidentally it. spoiled myself because I saw it in a. Yeah, post. and then I told her again, and then we were both really upset. She rubs <laughs> this stuff in my face. Like when characters die, she rubs it in my face. Like one of my favorite characters in Throne of Glass died, and now she rubs it in my face all the time. She it's very mean. Oh no, no! You know mm -hmm. what's mean? You know what's mean? <laughs> This one, mm. this I have not. Story. I have not read Kingdom of Ash yet, which is surprising considering it's like my favorite series. And it takes her. It she, takes her a lot to get through these books. It's, they're they're a lot. They're a Fair lot enough. to get through. <laughs> There's so much, but like, I haven't read it still, and it's been out for like almost a year. And when it first came out, Natasha like read it like, 
and she was like, oh, you won't believe who died. Like, you're going to be so sad. <laughs> no, and no, I'm like, she asked me who died, and she asked me if Rowan died, and I was like, well, no, no, yes. no. At first, you were teasing me, because she's mean. Oh, yeah. And true. she was like, he won't believe who died. And I'm like, oh, my God, who was it? Was it Rowan? And she goes, yes. And I was like, and I actually. And this was over crying. text message, because I'm a very No, because I, you called me. No, you were on the phone. Oh, no, you were on the phone. Oh, well, well, you texted me that, and then I called you. Yeah. Me, and then I started she crying. She called me freaking out, and then she started crying. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, but I wasn't giving it up. Even when she started crying, I, I was, wasn't giving it like, up. I was, like, so upset, and I was like, he did not die. And then I looked it up, and I can't tell you whether I or was, not he died, but, like, it was so mean. I was her. so upset. It was so mean. Anyway, who even, what, what? I mean, I think it's okay to say that what happens to him, because it's not really that much of a spoiler. He, like, he it would be a spoiler. Yeah, well, he, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Anyway, that was mean. It yeah, was really I mean, mean, it would be a spoiler if I said... Who was it? It was... Jason. I hope he don't knock gonna edit that spoiler thing. It was Jason and Magnus. Jason and Magnus. Oh, Jason and Magnus. Jason kind of reminds me of Alec. No, you're right. Fair enough. Okay, ship it. The Unsealy King. Disgusting. And He's from uh, Dark Artifices. Dorian. I don't ship it at all. That is a big no-no. Dorian is from the Throne of Glass world, and he's my husband. I am in love with him. He's my husband's best friend. Nobody else can have him. Mine. Um, I'm looking at you, Manon! Manon's hot. Anyway. <laughs> I smash. That was the last one, because you said two more. Oh, that was the last one? Oh, no. Oh, Wait, wow. oh, we can do one more. Okay, yeah. Last one. This is the last I'm last enjoying one. this. I'm having so much fun. Isabel Lightwood from the Mortal Instruments. No. Oh, no. No. Who are you? No. Are these, uh, these are people we have already had. Rosemary Hathaway from Vampire Academy. I don't this know who this interesting. is. Interesting. They're like the same person. Oh. Um, so mm -mm. they butt heads too much. Oh, okay, I, like, so I guess that's a rip it. Yeah, no, that's a rip it. Okay, we'll do one more just in case okay. we get something that you know because that was not fair. That was rough. That was not fair. Simon Simon Snow, I don't know. Who he is. Simon Snow is from Carry On. Kale. No. My husband. Absolutely not. And Reese. <laughs> Kale and Resand, okay. Interesting. Well, Kale I, I is can't throw a glass. And Resand is from Avatar. And I don't know how intertwined those two worlds are. No, but. Well, oh, I'm not saying anything. I know they exist in each other's worlds, but like it's so weird. Like they could actually meet each other. I'd crack ship it. I hate it. No, but like I don't, I don't ship Kale with anybody but me. Like he has a little, he has somebody that everyone's like, oh my god, Kale and this person, and I'm like, no, uh, not me, me. See, here's the thing. I would, I don't ship Kale and Reesan, but I would crack ship it because I think That'd that would be, be really funny. funny. Like as a crack ship, that would be super. Reese is like Dorian, a little bit. You're, you're right, but I feel like um, Cassian's a little bit more like Dorian. Okay, but, like, Reese is also kind of yeah. like Dorian. They got, like, the same eyes, almost. Yeah, I can see it. Well, Dorian's blue. Dorian, Reese well, they're, purple. They're, they're purple and blue. They're, like, the color of, like, the galaxy. It's it's so weird. I it's thought like, they were straight up purple. They are not straight up purple. They're, like, purple and blue. Oops. His hair is blue. Blue-black. Oh, you're right. I'm just stupid. I'm just stupid, guys. All right. All right, that was Rip It or Ship It. Thanks for coming, you guys. This was a lot of fun for us and with our, like, crackhead energy. I feel bad for you because you're going to be <laughs> seeing so a lot of me. Eventually. You are. This is, this is my best friend right here. I love her. So, <laughs> so we will see you guys around. I will definitely be around. We'll, I don't know when she's going to be back next time, but we have a long weekend next week. Honestly, so. I feel like we should somehow record a marching band competition oh my god yes because be i'm so in fun. i'm in color guard and she's on the horn line so like if i recorded said, what was going on in the color guard and she recorded what was going on in like if the horn only line, we had, i wish i could put a gopro on my hat inside the plume. Ah! Put it inside the plume. oh my god <laughs> i mean i could clip it to my
my ugly unitard thing. <laughs> oh my god, their uniforms this year are so ugly. It's not that bad. It's, it's like, pretty bad. It's like a unitard, and like one goes all the way down, what? one stops like halfway up the calf, and then one arm goes all the way down, and the other goes halfway up the arm, and it's like, what is happening? This was completely like, it was so disorganized, but that's our life. Fair. Okay, we said we were ending this. We're ending this. Bye, guys. <laughs>